Well, it's not a very nice day today. It's uh, autumn's coming. It's getting a little cooler. And today it's overcast. We've had some rain. And this is my uh, 1947 Dodge. This is the Dodge that's got the uh, problem with the transmission brake. And Ben is coming down to have a look at it now. So we will jack it up and find out what the damage is with me driving it for some considerable miles to Bletchley with the handbrake on. Well, it wasn't supposed to be on, but anyway, that's another story. Right, so the uh, the jack is in the back. Let's just see if I can get on the oh. <coughs> the drum actually do not look that bad. Well, that's good news. <coughs> You've got a bit of room on the UJ, I wonder. You've got the kit, have you? Yeah, I've got it here. You have a look, have a look at, look at it. Look at it a minute. Uh, the lining is still on there. Oh, well. Oh, what's the hell? Maybe, I mean, let's face it, um, maybe it wasn't binding terribly, it was just no. rubbing. Yeah. Oh, don't look uh... Is the prop shaft got undue movement in it then? Well, it's got a bit of movement in the UJ. That's the the, that's, is that where the kit is applicable then? Let's just have a look at this kit. Yeah, that's the kit in that bag. <coughs> Is it right or not? It's not a pup, is it? <laughs> well, it's not a hardy spicer. <laughs> no, that's, 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 that's a cat, yeah. yeah. Hardly spicy, that's for sure. Look what this that is. No instructions with it, nothing. No. So what would it be for then? Exactly. Yeah, that's the on the is he talking about the fairings at the differential? You know what he's on about. Uh, where the prop goes to the differential. Now you see, well, I think he's... Did he actually look at it? Well, no, he just did what you're doing, basically. Unloosened it, and then he, he said there was play in it. He said it was your bearings. And then a guy said he had this prop shaft um, repair kit, you see. This type... The early... I just want to look so you can put it in the back of the prop shaft. What's worrying me is that if it wasn't, if it was for a Chrysler, which is maybe this guy had, and they haven't got fluid drive, would that make any difference then? Well, I don't know. <coughs> no, no, I thought he's got that wrong. He's got that wrong, okay. This, um, that system is yeah. what they use. You have a, a housing with two slots, and you have these roller bearings and a pin that goes through it, so it rides along the slot. So you can, it can drive the shaft round, but any movement of the back axle going up and down, it alters the length of the prop shaft because it's gone through a radius. Yeah? All right, okay, right, yeah. right, so yeah, yeah. long. And then in this slot, it can ride up and down. 
All right. <clears throat> now the more modern stuff, which is what you got, they use a hardy spice joint. A hardy spice joint has got four cups, and it looks like a star with little needle royal bearings in, which is what that's got. And it's got the same on the back, and the slider to take up the difference is is a it's a spline. One go inside the other, and that takes up the difference. So that's for an old type model. Mm, there's nothing else on here. So there's a little bit of room in the hardy spice joints. Now you can get them. They're pretty easy to get, I would have thought. They're different sizes. They're small. I forgot what they are, but I would have thought you, if you put them for Chrysler, you'll, you'll get them easy. The other thing to do is to, if we take the lining off, you know, the, the band, and yeah. get it relined. Yeah. Like the drum. Part of it looks fine. It's not gouged or damaged yeah. or anything like that. And that should give us a little bit more thickness. But it's not dropped off. I, I can't understand where you got the metal-to-metal -metal noise from. Well, it sounded like it, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> I think I need to just investigate this a little bit further. I'm just lucky to get it over to workshop and just go up the road yeah. itself and get it on the ramp. And so I can just... Yeah. But that is not for this mo motor. That isn't at all. Oh, OK. That's, that is for a different type of thing. All right. Well, that solves that problem. But the good news is that it's not quite as bad as it no, could have been. No, 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 no. All right. Well, you know, right? You know, um, I just want to. I can't get rid of this Mark II Jag. I, I, <laughs> you can go believe it. I put this for servo and all that. It still ain't right. And now yeah. I find there's a teeny little hole, what looks a perfectly normal brake pipe. And it's just squirt out. Because I put the new servo on. Oh, of course, it's more powerful. More though, powerful. It's going to find it's, all it's, the faults it's, now, it's isn't it? It's found oh, the faults, yeah. isn't it? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, you know what? I can't get rid of this motor. Yeah. I ain't done the E type yeah. yet. Yeah. So well, this isn't urgent. What, yeah, but that's what I want to do. I just want to get it on a ramp and just ascertain this a little bit more because I'm, I'm not, I'm not convinced. Yeah. All right. Well, this, I, I'm going to leave it until that until is you not do the it. Right thing, what's in that no. Thing? Okay. Not well, for fair this enough. Machine. No. Okay. I know what that's for, but it's not for this. No. Okay. So it doesn't fit this car at all. No. No. Okay. No, because you've got two hardy spoilers. Yeah. Yep. You've got two hardy spoilers. Yep. No. There is. Bit of room in them, so you can get a couple of hardy spicy joints. Those, they're not a lot of money at all, so it'll just pay to get a couple. So they of fit them on other cars. So yeah, they, yeah, they so do. they've been quite yeah, common, really. Well, they they used to be standard sizes. The the, the small, the small, medium, and large. Right. And yours, I think, is medium. But right. I think if you reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That for real wheel drive cars. Okay, I'll just show you the other little toy that came for you. In the back of that car. Oh, the uh, condenser? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't opened it. <laughs> I hope it's all right. Well, it was, uh, I think it was 97 pound delivered. Yeah, yeah. I only opened it. Uh, you open it. All in there now. Yeah. Presumably it's not damaged, I mean. Mm -hmm. And there's the uh, that rail, wasn't there? That fitted underneath that. Okay. Right. So these things, <coughs> just Volvo lights, what do you reckon I do then? Try well, and let me just make inquiries see if it's available aftermarket. I think take the wrench number and I'll ring up and I'll find Because they need doing really, don't they? Do oh think? yeah, they do. What happens is they um, scatter the light. Yeah. They're not crisp anymore. Well, I figured they probably wouldn't pass the MOT at some point. Well, yes, sir. So you got two orange lights there, one there, one there. You got oh, none yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah, the bulb is gone. But it's two lights, isn't it? Yeah. The orange one on the side and the orange one there. There must be what, one bulb, or is yeah, it? Yeah, well, there's a bulb in there, because that's working. I'm not sure about the orange bit. Yeah, but there's two orange bits, isn't there? Yeah, there's one there. That could be the indicator, could not it? No, but they're both on. If you look at that, there's, orange, there's an orange light both sides. Oh, yes, yes, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, with you. So I'm getting that, you yeah, see? Yeah, that will be your side. Yeah. You've got one there, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so okay, you've got a bulb, you've yeah, got a light yeah. there, you've got yeah. a definite light there, and yeah, you've got a definite yeah, yeah, yeah. light down there. Yeah, gotcha. Which is, isn't here. No, it isn't there, you're right. And it isn't on that side either. So that, what, yeah. what I'm getting at is it seems odd there, it? that they're both off. Oh, oh I think it's got my bulb 
bulbs are gone. Well, I figured at the same time, because they're there, because you have to take that apart, don't you? You do, yes, you do. So that's what I was figuring. Yeah, so yeah. let's find out It's what another they job. Yeah, let's that's three out. jobs you've got for me. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> and the ramp is clear. I'll see you uh, shortly, soon. Okay. Cheers. Well, since Ben's uh, visit here, uh, I've done some investigation and I've discovered a few more facts about this dodge. Um, apparently the universal joints on these prop shafts are impossible to find. Um, no one has them. I mean, I've spoken to three or four companies now in the States since Ben left and uh, in fact two of them specialize in drivetrain uh, parts for old cars like the Dodge and uh, no they don't have them don't get them apparently from what I'm told and I don't know everything obviously on this I just know what I'm told that um, the company that made these only made them for a few years and they went on to a different design the company doesn't exist so uh, that's why they're so rare for this particular model year so the uh, the saga will continue because I've spoken to Ben since and it seems that we're gonna have to investigate having the uh, prop shaft joints repaired, reground, I don't know uh, use something different, make a new prop shaft anyway that's what we're going to uh, investigate so the saga now on the uh, prop shaft with this car and of course we've still got to uh, get the uh, transmission brake sorted though it doesn't appear to be as bad as I feared so another interesting little uh, project for my old Dodge. Lovely car.